This man is so fine right now. I'm gonna try to vlog him for you. Oh, I think he saw me vlogging. Oh, I've been putting it off for weeks. What's the true tea? Okay, the lies and deception, but I won't be coming back. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back in LA right now from my long road trip from Montana. It's actually Sunday morning, so I am heading to the farmer's market. I'm going to pick up my friend Madeline now that she is home for a little bit, and we're going to go get some goodies. So I'll see you guys at the farmer's market. Okay, so I actually didn't vlog when I was at the farmer's market because it was so hot, but look at all this gorgeous fruit I got. White peaches, yellow peaches, nectarines. I got plum. Oh, that's a peach. This is a plum. No. What is this called? I forget what that is. This is a plum. I grew up with plum trees in my backyard, so I love plums. I forget what this one's called. It's gorgeous though, look at the colors. But we did the farmer's market, we got coffee, and I went home and I shaved. I had to run a few errands by myself, and I'm gonna pick up Mads now again, and we're going to the plant shop. We're gonna go um, to my favorite landscaping place and get a few plants, cause while I was away, I'll show you guys later, but I had a bunch of plants croak and die in the LA heat because my irrigation system wasn't going off. And my sweet mother came to water them, but unfortunately, it was a little too late. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to rehabilitate them. I think they can come back, but I'm gonna get some new plants and we're gonna hang out and have a day. Oh my God, this man is so fine right now. I'm gonna try to vlog him for you. That man is fine. Oh, I think he saw me vlogging. He's behind the sign. <gasps> There's my husband walking away from me. Okay, so I got these two really cool hydrangea bushes. These are the ones I wanted a while ago. They're called Snow Queen. I just like the shape of the leaf. And then I think I'm gonna get some of these lavenders because they look very healthy and gorgeous. How pretty is it here though? Isn't that stunning? Look who I have! My daughter! I have Monty and I have Lark. So Larky, look how gorgeous. Hi Lark, anxiety ridden. Lark lives with my mom now. My mom's going out of town, so I have her for the weekend. Oh, the cutest girls. So we're just running some errands today. I have to go pick up a frame, actually, for my frame TV. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just like essentially a flat screen TV that looks like a piece of art when it's hung up. But I got a custom frame made for it from some old wood paneling that I had. So fingers crossed that it's ready. I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be so pretty. It's going above my fireplace. Originally, I didn't want to have a TV in my living room and I want it to be just for reading, but girl, that got boring real quick. We need a TV, even if it's just for movies or whatever occasionally. Occasionally. Um, it's a little smaller than I wanted, but I didn't want to shell out like a thousand dollars for a TV And I already had this frame from when I bought it last. I think I got it last Black Friday for super cheap um, It was a smaller frame TV, but but we'll see. I think it'll be cute. So we're doing that I have to go to the gym and then I think after the gym I'm going to a friend's house and we're gonna make some peach little mini cobblers or something and hang out But I need a coffee. So let's go to that and I'll see you in a second. Good morning, sisters, Linz, you guys. Today is very exciting. Uh, it's Saturday, and I am going to Soho Home Studio to go and support my friend Drew. He has a new vintage collaboration with them that just hit stores. Uh, it's on Melrose in West Hollywood. I'm so excited. He curated a bunch of antiques. We kind of have similar vibes. I'm more... I think a little more eclectic and I think he's more neutral, but his designs are really, really lovely and homey and I love him as a person and I love his style. So let's go check out the shop and say hi to Drew. If you guys are interested, I will link down below. If you're LA based, you can check it out. I believe it's available online as well, but let's go. Am I in my car? Of course I'm in my car. Where else would I be? Um, the event was so cute. It was good to see Drew. Um, I'm actually outside of a paper source wrapping a gift right now for one of my girlfriends. She's heading out of the country on vacation and I'm not gonna see her over her birthday. I'm not sure where I'll be. I know I'm going back to Montana around August 20th. I'm gonna have to drive there, so I'm not sure if I'll be there. But I want to give her an early birthday gift. I found this vintage, it's so beautiful. I actually wanted to keep this for myself, but I do not need another ashtray. I love ashtrays even though I'm not a smoker. I just like to have them in case anybody partakes in anything outside. I don't know, maybe for that, maybe for something else, maybe a little Palo Santo or something, but look how gorgeous this is. It's like a bubbled, 
It's glass, it's heavy, it's from the 60s, it's beautiful. And it just screams her. So I'm wrapping this up in some tissue paper and then I'm putting it in a little box. But since she's going to Europe, I was like, you need a headscarf, a gorgeous vintage headscarf that I found her. I actually just got it dry clean, but let me show you this. Look how stunning, wildflowers, poppies, butterflies, bees. And you guys wanna scream? Do you really wanna scream, sisters? No, vintage Gucci. It's so beautiful, it's so her. It smelled like an old lady because it definitely was an old lady's, but I got it dry clean and it smells very fresh. So hopefully she loves it. The print is just, I mean, this, this honestly, should I just keep this for myself? Look how beautiful. I cannot get over it. And it has the little Gucci situation. Yeah, it's right there, it's beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go make some peach cobblers together. She's getting her nails done. We're gonna get a liquid IV just for health, wealth, and happiness. And then uh, I'm gonna work on go work on some projects at home. So, how's your weekend? Also, have you liked this video? Please, please, please give this video right now. Give it a big like. If you need to pause, you can come back. The liking and the commenting does a lot for the video. So I really, really appreciate if you guys would do that. Show it some love. Hi everyone. It's Sunday morning, the next day. I've had an eventful morning. I woke up early. I went to the farmer's market. I got a bunch of goodies. I dropped off breakfast for my mom. I dropped off Lark to her as well because she's back from her camping trip. I gotta go pick up Monty today, but now I'm at home because my house is a mess. I need to do laundry, I need a vacuum, and I need to clean out my laundry room slash storage. I'll show you in a second, but it's just like a disaster. Um, I'm working on a project right now and I don't have a lot of storage in my house. So I'm trying, I'm, I just feel like I'm insane with the storage. Like I have so many things, little things, and I don't have places for them because this house does not have storage. So I gotta go get some storage bins. But let me show you what I got at the farmer's market. So I got some more gorgeous peaches. Also, how cute is this plate? I got this plate from Goodwill. It's beautiful. William Sonoma, $6. Olives, love it. Um, I got donut peaches, yellow peaches, white peaches, nectarines. Aren't those gorgeous? And then I got a bunch of gorgeous heirloom tomatoes. I got these gorgeous bell peppers that I'm gonna grill. I got gorgeous eggplants I'm gonna grill, cucumbers, a lot of fresh produce. And a case of Topo Chico, because I'm a Topo Chico girl. Also, the cobbler was a big hit. You guys saw, it looked cute. I put those on my stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me there. There's I always there's always something going on, something or other. Let me show you the laundry room. It's a mess. Don't judge me, or I'll jump through the screen and get ya. No, everybody's laundry room is kind of a mess, but we all have that one room, and this is the room. Literally, it's a closet of horror. You ready? No, sister, I can't let you see this. I can't let you see this. I'm gonna let you see this. No, no, look, it's a hoard. My gorgeous laundry machine. A storage from just like old house, candles, props, wallpaper. Oh, it goes deep, yoga mat. I can't be the only one who has an area like this. I'm not turning on the light because you will not get in the light, but I'm gonna clear this whole thing out. I'm sick of it. There's just so many things that I have for my last place and my larger home before where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use this. I'll use it at my new place. I'll give it to somebody. B no. I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna fix it, and I'm not gonna sell it. So either I give it to somebody or I put it at the street for somebody who really needs it. So we're just gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff and I'll show you guys the after. Ugh, I've been putting it off for weeks. Honestly, months. Also, can we take a moment? Can we take a moment to sh see how gorgeous I look? Madeline um, tinted my eyelashes last night. I look like a woman. No, I look, it's a little femme. It's a little feminine, but it's beautiful. Okay, here's the update so far. Light bulbs, paper towel, toilet paper, laundry detergent. This will be dry goods, so rice, whatever, whatever. Here will be candles, of course. Extra shower stuff for guests. I'll also do towels and linens down here. And then here is my props for design stuff. So I like vintage vases, vintage art, little props. I have wallpaper I'm using for the bathroom makeover. And then here, I'm gonna do a rolling rack. I'm gonna go get one at Home Depot, just a, like a metal rolling rack. And we're gonna do all my sports equipment, 
camping stuff, tools, ski stuff, which is all right here. Oh my God. The horror, the horror, the horror. And I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff, but yes. Next time you see this, it'll be clear. Okay, this is the metal storage unit I got from Home Depot. It was 119. Super easy to put together, and honestly, it's perfect. It's the perfect height, it's a perfect width that can still get through here. That's what she said. And my stuff is in the back, I still have access to all this. Now we're gonna organize. I wish I could do things casually, but no, I've been organizing a closet for eight and a half hours now, but you guys, it looks so good. I didn't paint or anything because I feel like that's I, there's potential here for a whole remodel, but let me show you what's going on. So we have the sliding door here. Boom, boom. We have light bulbs, toilet paper, cleaning supplies and laundry. Up here we have shopping bags, uh, washer dryer tower. Here I have PR, stuff that I like need to promote. Um, this is just a tote bag for shopping, but it's so structured, I don't know where to put it right now. Um, we have a little pantry situation. So these three, these two will probably be pantry and this will be PR. I don't know about this basket. And then here, I know it looks like a mess, but it's all very organized. Candles, shower stuff, extra bedding slash seasonal bedding. Here we have power tools, paint and power tools that I need, like screwdriver, tape measure at the ready, tape, painter's tape, my camping stuff slash like thermoses. Here we have roller balls, roller situation, yoga pads. Down here we have ski gear, water shoes, swimming stuff, and then like extra lighting. This is my little market bag. And then back there is stuff that I don't need to reach right now, but I can still get to if I need to, like antique stuff, whatever. Drop cloths, it's all pretty organized. It looks really good in comparison. I, I know where everything is now. But I still feel like I can do a lot more. I, I wanna paint, I wanna get like little organizational trays and cubbies and little situations. And then I wanna get, I wanna label everything, even though I have eyes and I can see, but I wanna label everything. And I still wanna just get some stuff out and kinda like diffuse a few areas. But it looks really good. Oh, would you guys be interested in like a full organizational video slash makeover video? Maybe this could be like an episode of Unmass. Let me know in the comments down below, but I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm back home now. Um, if you guys want to see the whole process of getting my ears pierced, you can go over to my TikTok. I went to a really cute place on Melrose called Studs and I just made an appointment earlier yesterday and it's so cute. They have so many options. It's adorable, but it's all on there. Um, however, I got a little cute pearl right here. So I got my second on this year and then I got my second also on this year, which is a little lightning bolt. I don't have anything in my first just because I don't like really do two danglies, but I was gonna get some other stuff, but I feel like I have to have these in for four months or else they'll close. So I think these are like simple and sweet. Um, taking the dogs for a walk right now and then I'm meeting my mom for dinner. Mother Maria, I have a bunch of like PR stuff that I put together for her that I got in the mail. If I ever get like PR or stuff for free from brands that I don't use. I, I can't use everything, obviously. I'll, I like, like to make like little gift bags for people, like friends or family or whatever. Like if I see that somebody needs like skincare or hair products or whatever, obviously there's not, I can't use everything, nor do I. Um, but I also picked up a pair of sneakers on the way home because I needed a new pair of hiking sneakers uh, from Hoka. These are the ones that I got. These are the Anna Kappa. I've had these before, but the treads were worn out. Um, I get a size 11, but they do run half a size small. So these are the ones I like. I wanted the lower version so I could wear these like out, like running errands, because the high hiking boots are kind of like only for hiking, but they're great. The treads on these are amazing. They're awesome. I can't wait to use these. And then I also picked up these chairs. I got these from H&M Home if you guys watched that video. If you didn't, I'll link it down below as well. But these chairs are so beautiful and I needed a dining chair for this table. I got two of these for 50 bucks. And it's a little rusted, but they're outdoor. They're patina, they're beautiful. And you just don't find this kind of sturdy, beautiful chair. But this is for the outdoor makeover, which fingers crossed will be up in two weeks. I'm almost done. I have to hit up the flea market this weekend and get a few more things and put some things together, but it looks chef's kiss, but let's go. Oh, I also got a new harness for Wolfie because he pulls. So let's go put that on him and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so this is the harness. On the bottom, you can see here, it's like a velvet material. Um, it's really nice. It got in the green. So it goes underneath here. 
but it doesn't like pull him. And then it attaches here. It's a no pull, but it doesn't hurt. As you can see, like it just holds the chest instead of holding the neck. <laughs> right, buddy? Yeah. So I'll let you guys know how this works out because he has a tendency to pull. He has a sled dog. This one doesn't pull because he's a little wint. Boom. Oh. Good morning. Um, it's the next day. I just picked up the frame that I had made for my Samsung frame TV that I bought a while ago. I mentioned I bought it during Black Friday from my place in Montana. It's the really small one, but I got a frame made from some wood that I had. It's so gorgeous. So look how stunning this is. So this is gonna be the frame. It's beautiful, antique wood. The guy who made it, and well, he cut the wood for me and made it. Did such a great job. And then this is the TV. So it's gonna go like that. It's gonna look like a piece of art, kind of. So I'm gonna try to attempt to install it. I'm gonna clear all this out. I'm gonna drill into the wall, into the brick. But I got, this is what I needed. It's a hammer drill, which is more powerful than a regular drill. So I'm gonna let this charge. I got the drill bits that I needed and I got the screw. So fingers crossed. And this is what it looks like all together. It looks so good. It was so easy. It took me like 20 minutes. We're watching it's complicated. The frame looks amazing. Super happy with the TV. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, but I will link which one I got down below. I believe it's a 32 inch, so it's a little smaller. It was pretty affordable because uh, the frame TVs can be really expensive. And then I just got my own frame made from the wood that I had. Uh, you can buy those frames on Etsy, but they're north of like $500 plus and it's not like antique or anything. So my best bet would be to go and try to find some wood and have just like a frame made at your local frame where I'm sure they can do it for cheap. But right now, let's go and get some tattoos. I've been wanting to add two more tattoos to my arm. One is um, a year, which is very significant to me um, and represents a couple things in my life. And then another is another flower because I would want to have more flower tattoos on my arm. So let's go see my friend Andrew in Sherman Oaks and go get some tattoos. Okay, it's later, tattoos went great. I got a Weber grill. I'm gonna put this together because I want to grill like vegetables and stuff. And this color is so cute. It's this copper color and I'm into it. So let's do a little unboxing. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this color does not disappoint. <gasps> it's gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I'll also link this down below. I just got it at Home Depot, it was on sale. This is just like a typical, a standard grill. She's all put together and stunning, and now we can grill for the rest of summer. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's literally the next evening, afternoon. I'm going to a little screening with my friend Manny. I'm meeting him here. I hate parking garages, A, because I feel like I'm gonna be murdered. B, parking is so bad and I have a huge SUV, and I always almost hit something, it's hell. But we're in luck because I did not this time. We've got the royal combo, oh and her highness is here, her the woman. Eyes. Wait, I love that. That's gorgeous. I believe that they hired trade. I believe that they hired trade oh my God. for the cinema night. I think that we are A-list members. I do. You're A-list. I'm, I'm not an A-list member. I no longer have that membership. I think I have the membership. I do. Like, rise, 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 rise. I, there's so many people here, it makes me It's actually kind of shocking. It's too much, it's too much. Okay, post movie, here's the review. It was cute, what'd it you think? It was so cute. What's you in the guys, bag? I had chills. We have M&M's. M&M's, we got these white, little tote bags. A royal blue. Let me show you. A sock. The head ass. That's the socks. A, a bookmark. bookmark for all the reading the you book. can't do. It's because well, I don't read you now then. You just read me. Uh, I just read you to feel. Okay, so the movie was really cute. The actors so cute, did great. Guys. If you guys read the book. You look very tan. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like You look very I look, pale. Like, I look very alabaster. Alabaster, if you will. Uh, Who's the Latina like now? Daniel Pre Not you. Presda. <laughs> Presda. Not tonight. Not tonight. Okay, so if you read the book, 
it was a little, the book was a little bland for me. It just like, it was like one of those quick reads, like I read it in maybe six or seven hours. Mm -hmm. It was cutesy. The but movie Daniel was- did tell me he loved the book, so what's the true tea? No, I did, I liked the book. Rice. But it- I, right. have, I have receipts that say I You're loved right. the You're book. You're right, I did think the book was cute, but it was a quick read, But the movie's so cuter. The movie's cuter. It was just a quick read, and I sometimes like just a quick little one too. How dare you be telling me. No! You know what? We fight over this in the movie. We do, we do. Because I'm 16. We're, we're you know that. It's actually us in the movie. <gasps> no! No, sister! <laughs> no! It was cute. Go see it. It's. I think I it's it uh, on streaming on Amazon. August 11th. August 11th. So get into it. Watch it, you guys. It's the, really cute. And I feel like it's very pertinent to today's time. It's pertinent. Well, I, I Yes, it is pertinent. And, you know, the men are trade. Oh. The men are trade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Boom! <laughs> Why are we like, okay, first of all, if you guys don't understand, we are literally giving Luscious and Joella We're giving pussy. Luscious and- We're trying to give Luscious and Joella pussy. They, they are our mothers. They are our, well, actually mine. Luscious you, actually literally yours, mother. and in my mind. No, they're, they're like my You know aunts. what, Joella is your drag mother. Yes, is sister. Yeah. Honestly, I yes. see myself in her. No, I see she it. gets you together. <laughs> yeah. She will get you, and we love Joella I love, I love them both. House of- are you made a massacre? How's it? No, puss? yeah, no, I'm Madison Massacre. Oh my, my god, my name is Pray to Puss. And you're Pray to Puss. Oh my god, the way, like, we, we have to ask Jola if she'll take you on. Because you can't have her name if she doesn't take you on. Trust. You know what? Trust and believe. We <sighs> will oh my god. be dealt with. Hey guys, it's a little later. I decided to stop at a new grocery store that opened up near me. It's called. Lazy Acres. Um, it looked very promising. It's like a mixture of Erewhon and Whole Foods and has some more affordable options and normal brands that I don't, I, I have never actually been to Erewhon. Um, but Whole Foods now is kind of like typically just like Amazon. Like their prices are really, really, really high. So I'm gonna give this place a shot. Um, red, white, and royal blue was really, really cute. It was a bit long for me. Um, I feel like they could have gotten to some of the points, but it was inspiring and it was, I liked it. it I was into it. Um, I did, I didn't mind the book, you know, um, thinking about it now, it was just such a quick read and I didn't really get a lot of heart from it. And obviously anybody can write any book, but I think, yeah, I just didn't get a lot of heart and emotion from it. I think it's because I, it wasn't written by somebody whose story is being told. It's about two queer men. So I kind of wish it was written by a queer man. Um, but either way, you know, the book blew up and it is a movie and that's really cool and really amazing. Um, so definitely go check it out. It's available on, I believe it's on Amazon Prime by now, today, August 11th. But yeah, let's go grocery shopping. Okay, a good selection of ready to go food. Everything looks really fresh and gorgeous. And these are the vibes. It's very clean, it's very gorgeous, very curated. Lots of like, lots of options. Honestly, I'm obsessed. It's very well put together. Not everything being so perfect and in place. Like, oh my gosh. However, they do have a lot of these expensive brands. $8.99? And you know it's empty. This is only half full, I can feel it. No, not tonight. Oh, you can grind your own peanuts for peanut butter. I'm gonna get one of these. That looks heavenly. That is rich, honey. So what's cool is if you bag your own groceries and you bring your own bags, you get tokens and you can donate them to a nonprofit. Allegedly, 10 cents, we'll see. So they have all of these organizations here. Tailwaggers and school on wheels. Okay, the lies and deception. That place is not cheap. There were like some things that were normal priced, but I feel like I have imposter syndrome. However, I just also feel like grocery stores should not be unattainable to get food. Like the meat was so expensive. It was like, uh, I got the cheapest meat and it was like $10 for a little thing of chicken. It was crazy. The standouts are, I love this brand of beans. Filos. This one is Cuban black beans. Sofrito, 16 grams of protein for the package. And I like to take some of these throughout the week and I'll like put them as a side, like in my eggs or 
on a salad. Um, I haven't tried these ones, the Peruvian lentils, those looked really good. And then the Puerto Rican pink beans, which are a little spicy, which are lovely, because I love, they're not spicy for me, but I like a little kick. I usually put hot sauce like on everything. And then what I really am into are these. If you guys haven't had these, they're by a brand called Tofu Tea. Um, are they actually made from tofu? Yeah, tofu, soy protein. Um, but th this version is dairy-free, which is great, so I won't myself, and, oh wait, I, oh yeah, this one's vegan too, it's vegan and plant-based, that's so cool. So we're just gonna sit here in the parking lot and eat one of these. While I give you my review of Shady Acres, it's called Lazy Acres, but I will continue calling them Shady Acres. I will come here for little things, since it's very close to me, but I won't be coming back. I will not be spending $18 on chicken. Look how cute these are. 90 calories a sandwich, that's fabulous. It's just that little something sweet at the end of the night. Let's see, I can probably make these myself for cheaper, but. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And they also don't taste vegan, and they don't taste tofu. What else did I get? Um, boring stuff. I got that pistachio milk that I really like. I got a big jug of the Khalifa Farms almond milk. This is the new container. It's big. Some rice cakes. I got these because they were on sale. Collagen waters. I like these. And I got my eggplants. These are the star. 10 out of 10 recommend. Well guys, it is the next night. I'm actually heading out to dinner with Laura and Manny. Then we're going to play mini golf, which is so much fun. I haven't seen them in a minute. I'm so excited. I love mini golf. I actually used to hate it years ago. But now it's just so fun because it makes me feel like a kid again. But this is the end of this week's video. I love you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a big like. Comment some love down below. And I will see you with a brand new video next week. Alright? Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Bye.